what's going on everybody and welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm gonna show you how to overclock the new Ryzen 5 3600 to 4.2 gigahertz on all cores and I'm gonna be using the ASRock X570 Phantom Gaming 4 motherboard but before that please don't forget to subscribe down below and thank you for watching well let's get right to it so the first thing I'm going to recommend for you is to go ahead and go to ASRock website and download the latest BIOS which you could see here is P1.20 now originally when I purchased this motherboard just about a week ago it came with P1.00 and then I went to the website and there were two more options P1.10 and P1.20 this, so this is the latest one they have uh, with the stock BIOS I wasn't able to do at all anything any kind of overclocking so definitely that's the first thing you should do and uh, to update the BIOS is very easy nowadays so let's go ahead and go over the settings that I have you go ahead to OC tweaker and right here under CPU frequency and voltage you go ahead put on manual then uh, put in 4200 that's going to be the clock speed and the voltage you increase it to 1.40 the rest you don't touch here is um, of course depends on what kind of uh, RAM you have to speed but you know in order for you to get the actual speed of the RAM that you purchase you're gonna to have to always go ahead and activate the XMP profile 1 otherwise it'll go to a stock frequency of 2133 so there you just pretty much activate that and that's it then the only other thing that I did was change the CPU load line calibration to 2 instead of 5 and this second load line calibration to level 2 also yeah and that's that's pretty much it and uh, you know so far so good I wasn't able to get 4.3 or even 4.25 stable enough uh, listen after watching this video if you guys have a better idea or you had more success uh, please leave any comments down below I really appreciate it but so far so good I'm able to play games with this overclock and also I was able to do the the Cinebench R15 test so yeah that's pretty much it so now stay tuned I'm gonna show you what kind of score you could get after this overclock yeah and here is pretty much what you could expect uh, the kind of score on the Cinebench R15 when you overclock the processor to 4.2 gigs on all cores definitely an improvement I think I got about a, a hundred points extra on the on this benchmark which is pretty damn good and you're right pretty much at uh, the Ryzen 5 3600X which could barely over be overclocked to 4.3 so uh, really in my opinion there's really no reason um, to purchase the 3600X for extra 50 bucks because the performance is very similar and if you get this processor here to run at 4.3 again the motherboard that I'm using is uh, is really not the best for overclocking so I'm sure you you might get a better result with a different motherboard but yeah that's pretty much it guys uh, thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and leave any comments down below goodbye